Hey guys, this is Ty Force Games, and back to your reaction to Power Rangers vs. Voltron Death Battle. Oh, I'm gonna be so sad by the end of this, I know it. Um, okay, first off, let's go over, like, this, this background I've heard about this death battle. It is, um, it is, it has been one of the most popular death battles ever suggested. Like, it's always been Power Rangers vs. Voltron, the Megazord vs. Voltron, and... And um, what's even better is that well, it was main. It was going to be the season three finale, but it was pushed back. Be and you know, Deadpool versus Pinkie Pie became the season season three finale. And then it was going to be season four opener, but then it be it was pushed back again to to be replaced with Lara Croft versus Nathan Drake. And now on their seventy fifth episode, they did it. And what's even better is that they've gotten a lot of people to um. Voice, voice them, voice them, the Rangers as well as the the Voltron people. I I don't know. I I can't remember. <laughs> but what I really like is that um one of the power. I I don't know everyone who I've only know I only know one person who was voicing the Power Rangers in this, and that's Andre the Black Nerd, and that is amazing <laughs> because he's a huge Power Rangers fan, and that's awesome. And then I think I'm pretty sure I, that I know everybody who voices the Voltron cast. It's um. Matt Pat is one of them, and that's the guy who does game theory. Um, Nick Landis, aka Lanny Bator, and and um, Kaiser Neko, I believe, um, who um, Scott Frerichs, and and they're from Team Four Star and voice various characters in Dragon Ball Z Bridge. Then there's um Emily, who I I believe her name was. I think I'm gonna have to recheck that later, but she um she has done a lot of um she has helped um as far as I know she has helped um. Nate wants to battle with some some of the songs and you know providing an additional voice a voice of additional singer I guess you could say I can't remember the fifth one though but but oh man this is gonna be great but mm, I'm not I'm gonna be so sad because I'm I'm a huge Power Rangers fan but I doubt they're gonna win <laughs> I don't think they're gonna win like. I wish I, had, I was wearing something or had something to show you about my love for Power Rangers, but I don't, so I'm going to have to tell you. I grew up watching Power Rangers Dino Thunder, and it was the greatest. I loved that season. It's still my favorite. It's my favorite season today. But these are the original Power Rangers, and it's something I didn't really get around to until I got back into Power Rangers, which ironically was thanks to Death Battle with, um... Tommy Oliver, the the White Tiger Zord versus the Gundam Epion, and Gundam Epion won. <laughs> oh man, my childhood. Oh wait, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? White Tiger Zord won. Come on, like, no, no, he totally won, right? Tommy totally didn't die, and my Power Rangers wasn't my Power Rangers childhood wasn't murdered right in front of my face. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, yeah, I'm not even trying to hide it. Tommy Oliver lost, and that was the most heart crushing thing to me. And now, oh dear, these are the original. And there's a couple reasons I doubt they're gonna win. One, Voltron is anime. Anime. You cannot argue with anime. Anime logic. I never watched Voltron, but it's anime, so anime logic is going to help them win this. <laughs> and um, so, and secondly, these, Pa the original Power Rangers team, they were actually pretty weak, like, if, like, compared to others, if you think about it. In my humble opinion, I think Zeo and the in space and the Space Rangers were the strongest at the time. Like, the Zeo Rangers and then Power Rangers in space. I'm pretty sure they were the strongest ones, and, and well, yeah, I mean, these were, the original were powerful in their own right, but it, it, they weren't. It wasn't compared to Zeo. Like, nothing. It was nothing compared to Zeo. But, yeah, um... So, yeah. And it's just, it's the original. It's Jason, Zach, Trini, Kimberly, and Billy. And... Yeah, I mean... Oh, man. But back in the back in the day when, when the Black Ranger was, was black and the Yellow Ranger was Asian. <laughs> okay, no, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, mm -hmm. I, okay, enough talking, I must get to this and pray that the Power Rangers win, even though I don't think they are. Let's go. Hey, Martin. Hey, Mr. J. So, I know you're doing all 
Minneapolis merch marketing, like these three awesome death battle t-shirts, it can get kind of stressful. So we added some new office amenities that I think will help take the edge off, like the new office jacuzzi. <laughs> no, thanks. You ever smell a wet sauce before? All right, maybe a relaxing massage then. <laughs> They're going to eat that puppet right. one day. How about a nice hot sauna? <laughs> it's a fucking toast oven, Chad. Mm. I'm Mark Bachman, and now I got the sexiest shirt in the market. Death Battle shirt. You wear this, you're going to find yourself in a sex battle. I don't know what that is, but I know you'll love it, okay? Now click the link below and buy this shirt. Dang it. Gonna eat me. Oh, they're gonna eat me. Oh dear, here we go. It's finally time. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest matchups in death battle history. Oh yeah. Yeah, the giant robot fight of all giant robot fights. Oh yeah. The Megazord, the heavy hitting mech commanded by five Power Rangers. And, both and plus, the Power Rangers are teenagers. Piloted by five mm -hmm. paladins. And these people are trained. No, oh, there's, it's just, hmm. it's just the two of them. There's no outside help. There's no dragons or dragons or there's nothing else. Just the, just the Megaswords themselves. No extra additions. Oh dear, here we go. Since the dawn of time, good has battled the forces of evil. Mm -hmm. The vicious witch Rita Repulsa and her giant monsters waged war with the good-natured galactic sage Zordon. Mm -hmm. Their 2,000-year war finally ended when Rita zapped him into a time warp, but not before Zordon managed to lock her up in a space dumpster. Mm -hmm. Yes, apparently. Power Rangers, everybody. <laughs> space dumpster, or to put more accurately, a galactic recycling bin. Uh, however, Zordon knew it was only a matter of time before Rita escaped to conquer Earth mm -hmm. once more. Good thing Zordon had thousands of years to come up with a foolproof plan. He could summon the five greatest warriors <sighs> from around the galaxy to defend the planet. Or... Just five overbearing and overemotional teenagers. <laughs> Over, overbearing and overemotional humans. Yes. It worked, so though. Five teenagers the ability to draw power from a dimension called the Morphin Grid. Mm -hmm. The Morphin Grid, yep. This turns them into superhumans with access to mighty... Even today, we don't know everything about the Morphin Grid. Becoming the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Dreamstertops, Green 2 Tiger, Tyrannosaurus! That guitar just does something to you. Jason. The Red Ranger. He's a fearless leader, expert martial artist, and owns one Bench of the 3,000 reps in one day. <laughs> Billy Cranston, the Blue Ranger, is the genius of the group. He loves to work with machines. Built the Rad Bug. Can go Sarah 0 to 3,000 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds. <laughs> can stop a foe in its tracks. Trini Kwan, the Yellow Ranger, is equal part <laughs> friend. Favorite superhero is Wonder Woman. Specialist. Good choice. She's a threat both outside and inside her speed. Enjoys extra spicy chili dogs. She and Sonic would get along great. Enjoys Tommy Oliver. <laughs> Too much pink energy is dangerous. Zordon from 1880. It's true. Missing his left middle finger? <laughs> Never actually noticed that. Hit Bob Keto. Yep. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's actually pretty cool. I'm still getting over Kimberly's little thing called "Enjoys Tommy Oliver." Yes. I'm sorry, I love rocking out to this. Luckily, it's the abandoned buildings district. Giant monsters. 
Mm-hmm. It's like a giant rock'em suck'em robot with laser beams. Mm-hmm. It can fry enemies with its cranial laser, blast fireballs from its hands, <laughs> shoot immobilizing beams from its eyes, and even use the mastodon's face as a shield. Oh, yeah. And when it's time to send someone to an early grave, they summon their blade The power Magna, sword. The power sword. Little known fact, simply touching the power sword can recharge the megazord if it's oh. full of power. Nice. It's not just a battery. This giant sword is over 100 feet long and hmm. orbits the Earth when not in use. Plus, it can orbit the Earth. And cut down almost any that would have been useful to know when I was writing my fanfiction. <laughs> and there's even more. It's a surprisingly versatile weapon, like with this feature they implemented against the Nasty Knights. Any energy we throw at him, he just reflects back at us. That's why our weapons all burned out. So what do we do about it? Reflect his energy back at him, along with a bit of our own. I don't get it. Apparently, the power sword can absorb oncoming kinetic energy and turn it against the attacker, oh. drastically increasing the Megazord's striking power. Nice. Well, after pummeling monsters every weekday afternoon, mm-hmm. the Power Rangers have been through almost everything, from fighting a world-destroying dragon to a giant walking pumpkin who rams. Who oh, you bring to make me mad? Wake me up with a rock that bad. They need a power Rangers, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> is strong enough to lift and throw the 170 ton dragon sword into a mountain hmm. with little effort. So long, game bouncer! <laughs> Even the individual swords nice. can support oh, comic books. I forgot they had those. Their own. While many of these monsters should weigh similar to the Megazord, some certainly weigh even more. Hmm. In fact, in a general scale, when you double the size of an object, its weight increases by a factor of eight. Comparing these organic monsters to human beings means some of them could weigh as much as 10,000 tons. Hmm. And the Megazord even gut punched one of them over Ooh. 100 feet into the air. I really gotta Assuming read those that comic books. Monster is 10,000 tons, lifting at 133 feet would require about 90 million newtons of force. Hmm. 50 times as much force as a space shuttle's launching thrust. That well. kind of strength. I bet you could backhand a person into outer space. That's oddly specific. <laughs> yes, if I hadn't watched the Power Rangers movie, I would know that. Such a nostalgia trip, but okay. Well, technically not, but whatever. Okay. In less cryptic terms, 1,200 years ago, the evil cruel empire nearly conquered the entire known universe. Hmm. But not everybody was cool with fleets of ships shooting up their planets, so a team of scientists and magic priests decided to fight back. Through the marriage of magic and technology, they forged a 300-foot-tall living Hmm. automaton so powerful that it single-handedly pushed back the Empire's onslaught. Before long, the whole universe had heard of the mechanical knight. Already it sounds more powerful than the Megazord. Because that he was losing everything because of some space robot, the Empire's King Zarkon ordered a space witch to kill Voltron with a magic space spell. And hmm. kinda worked? Kinda. Instead of being destroyed, Voltron was split up into five very merchandisable robot lions. Divided and stripped of its sentience, the universe's best hope had fallen. Until five Still like Power Rangers more, but this is pretty cool. Harris, the exact same planet the lions just so happened to be hiding on. Just an ear, some crab led them to the castle mm. where the Princess Allura gave them a life-changing opportunity. Pilot the long-lost lions and go around saving the universe for a See, living. lions okay, or dinosaurs? Lions more ways than one. As 
as leader of the team, he commands his cohorts, and he pilots the Black Lion, okay, the literal head of Voltron. Okay. Lance McLean is the Han Solo. Lance? Hmm. This hot-headed show-off controls the Red Lion, which forms Voltron's right arm. So Yoshi Garrett, better known as Hunk, is so the muscle of the team. He pilots the Yellow Lion, which forms Voltron's left leg. The Blue Lion is piloted by Sven Hogerson. No, oh, he oh. did. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Princess Laura. Required little training. Communicates with mice. Daryl or Pidge. Absolutely crazy. And he's also, well, a little unhinged. Pidge, get rid of that grenade! At least his outfit matches his lion's colors. I mean, damn, it's not that true. Voltron. Hmm. Activate mega thrusters. Voltron! Basically, anime Power Rangers. Let's see. What could be more powerful than than Power Rangers? Anime Power Rangers. You ever think about how the pilots stay in the heads of the lions when they're fighting? That has to be like ridiculously nauseating. Oh, undoubtedly. That's probably why they usually travel by flight and prefer hmm. long-range combat over hand-to-hand. -hand. Speaking of which, Voltron got oh, they prefer long-range. Hmm. That could be, inter that could be interesting. Voltron can shoot stingray missiles and even okay. pillars of flame out of its hands and feet. Or blast the lion heads off like rockets. It can stun enemies with ion dart lasers from its head or use the electro-force cross attack from its chest. On Keith's command, the Lion Force can manifest Voltron's most powerful weapons out of thin air. Everything hmm. from spinning laser blades to javelins to nunchucks. But the real yeah, this arsenal the already trumps the Power sword. Rangers. Yes. Form Blazing Sword! Hmm. With this blade, Voltron mm, I really hope Power Rangers are actually like able to pull it off, but... The hmm. Starfire attack. Which splits Robies apart and also makes a Power Rangers are, seem a bit more strategic in this matter, but. Yeah. The blazing sword is enormously powerful, capable of destroying a satellite hundreds of times larger than Voltron. Voltron himself is powerful enough to melt mm. meteors, kick giant machines sky high, and take explosions the size of countries. The mm. Voltron lions have even traveled between galaxies in less than a day, making mm. them several times faster than the speed of light. Voltron has also survived landing on the Omega uh, Comet, which is so dense. Uh, 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 my, my childhood will die hole. again. Okay, no, I don't want that again. Robot man lions have their limits. Like getting ganged up on by multiple robies at once, mm. or getting stabbed and sliced open. But mm. like whole levels of gravity, <laughs> that's a gangwalk, right? Voltron mm. may be strong, but it lacks the finesse and skill of one trained in martial arts. Voltron also carries a mm. shocking design flaw. If the release plates on its joints are struck in combat, it could jettison an entire limb from the core body. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that if I kick Voltron, Breaking Voltron in the shins hard enough, he'll just lose a leg and pop right off. Huh. Essentially, yes, though it has only happened in training. Even uh. so, whether the Lion Force is up against a technical issue or a colossal robies, the universe can always depend on Voltron. Oh dear. I mean, these they do have some key weaknesses, like um the whole the entire like like Previously mentioned getting hit in a specific spot in the maybe in the leg or an arm and it will detach. But mm, it's a, and plus they're more they're more advanced in um, long range combat than close close range, which Power Rangers is more close range, obviously. And hmm. But um. Mm, this is actually a lot closer than I thought, but I still think Voltron's gonna win, but I'm rooting for Power Rangers, because Power Rangers is life! Power Rangers is love! Power Rangers is life! Uh, I want the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers to win! Because go, go, Power Rangers, everybody! Uh, if they can... 
if they can manage to outsmart, I guess, the, the Voltron, which they seem they can be able to do, considering they 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 seem extremely str Power Rangers seem extremely strategic in their battles. I'm preparing my heart. Heart pardon. Go go Power Rangers. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, that's Taka. Taka had a one on one, yeah. Oh. What? There. Do this. Oh, <laughs> it's actually bigger. <laughs> Mo me the Megazord is actually bigger. Oh, and already it's it's like going down. They've already done the fight and everything. <laughs> this is a joy to watch. Nice. Already? You busting out the power sword? Okay. Oh! Nice! Nice, okay. Okay. Here we go. Uh oh. Hmm. Oh, this is close quarters combat, but Power Rangers are more adept in this, but. Mm. Okay. Oh, my heart's pounding, my heart's pounding. Oh, I want an arm. Oh, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Mm. Oh no. Oh, this is the part where the Rangers lose.
Yeah. I can't argue about my childhood. You, but my, my but my childhood. All right, what's next? Natsu. And oh, that's a guy from One Piece, right? Ace versus Natsu. Okay. Go Natsu. <laughs> oh man. Oh, okay. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Oh man. Something tells me things are not going to go my way in that fight either, but okay, whatever. Oh, I cannot argue. I've already explained everything. I, lo I love Power Rangers, but there's no way it could face Voltron. Because Voltron is anime. Oh, oh, my heart. My poor heart was beating so much during that those last moments. Oh, okay, well, I can't really argue. Oh, well. They put up a good fight. That's all that matters. Till next time, guys. See ya. Dang it! <laughs>